As a high school student, I had the opportunity to attend the California State Summer School for the Arts. It is an intensive four-week program for talented and motivated students in filmmaking, animation, theater, writing, music, dance, and visual arts. Four weeks taught by top talents from all across the country. More than a school, but the start to a dream come true career. Nearly 40% of the students receive a scholarship, and no student is ever denied for financial reasons. To learn more and to lend your support, visit CSSSA.org. Hey guys, it's Enter the Stars, and uh, what you just saw was a spot from Zac Efron, and coincidentally, Zac Efron grew up in the area where I went to college at Cal Poly, San Luis Obispo. And um, the purpose of this video is every once in a while I like to share some personal information with you guys. And I actually attended the CSSSA in its very first year of existence. And I believe personally that this was the Illuminati's first attempt at uh, trying to capture whatever talent or spiritual energy that um, certain people have. And this only came to my attention and understanding after this long and voracious journey for truth. Um, and now I'm starting to put it all together and connect it back to my early childhood in history. Um, so in 1987, which is the very first year that the California State Summer School for the Arts was in existence, um, I actually attended that program. And it was called InterSpark. It's a four-week professional art training program for high school students that is held each summer at the California Institute of the Arts. I actually attended the summer before my first year of high school. And, of course, I got a gold medallion from the governor and all that um, hoopla that they, that they place on that and these types of events. But the reason for this video is to just to go into a little bit more of the history of this. Now... During the 1980s, which it states here in the Wikipedia article, California was facing increasing competition from other states in the arts and entertainment industry. So obviously, this is Hollywood, you guys. This is everything that we've been studying about and talking about. And as I told you, I did not connect the dots on this until after my journey for truth. It's, it is, in other words, it is not because of attending this program that I began my journey for truth. Now it seems like it's all come full circle. And how someone could know the beginning from the end and approach me in my preteen years, somehow knowing that that I would be on this journey, um, it just really is, I'm in awe about that. And I don't know how they do that, but it is apparent that it has happened. And as soon as I'm done with this video, you'll probably agree. But anyway, um, it says here, the film, television, and recording studio complex is traditionally built in California. We're were being built in Florida, Texas, among other places, with diminishing interest in the commercial arts sector. Many of the California's nonprofit fine arts institutions and the state educational community were feeling the effects of a financial backlash. Now, this was a state-run program, and is too now. It is still in existence, and it it should send shivers up everyone's spine that a state could have a program that in effect captures uh, young people's talents for the future of the Hollywood industry. That to me is very, very satanic and suspect. So I'll continue on here. So Gov the Senator Alan Sorority sponsored legislation to begin the planning process and a 24-member advisory council of legislative arts and industry leaders was appointed by the California Arts Council and the State Board of Education to explore the cause of the talent drain. So they came up with the California State Summer School for the Arts to, in effect, keep the talent in Hollywood, if we read through all the fine print. Now, um, it says here, CSSA students stay in separate male and female dormitories, Chenard Hall. I remember all of these things very vividly. It was actually... A very enlightening experience um, until you know what they're actually wanting you for. That is when you start to understand that Hollywood is just a, a breeding ground to cause dissension for programming of the masses, uh, to create division between different peoples, to increase sexuality, promiscuity. These are all of the fruits of Hollywood. And I am so glad that I took a different turn in my life 
to be able to call these things out and call them to attention versus being heavily involved or being bought out, so to speak. Now this is interesting. I do remember this newsletter called the Purple Blurb. And isn't it interesting that we study heliotrope and all of uh, the different uh, manifestations of heliotrope that it started to occur in 2013, we became bombarded with this color, which is purple. And it says here now that the, uh, the purple blurb is actually printed on purple paper. Uh, this is no accident. Now, the color heliotrope has 666 in its uh, makeup, in its chemical makeup, and you guys can look that up. It's derived from the Hexaplex trunculus, which is a sea snail uh, from the northern Caucasus region. And this was used in royalty and used all throughout history, their clothes that they wore. So anyway, you guys, I wanted to share this with you, and um, I just thought it would be of interest to some of you, some of my background, and uh, maybe try to understand how this works um, with this programming and also with the timeline of our life coming full circle. Many of you may have had the same experience. Things that happened to you when you were a child now make perfect sense in the context of the way they happen. So anyway, you guys, take care and be safe.